Meet Achilles Fairchild, a pretty much a new drug lord in Manhattan that Moon Knight or Mr. Knight is trying to take down. This is Moon Knight, Fist of Conchu issue one, written by Jim McKay, of course. At this point, he's just the Moon Knight writer. But basically, there's a new drug going around in Moon Knight's territory, and he finally found the lead of who is distributing this. You, you can't come in. Oh yeah? Why is that? There's a dress code. Impossible. I'm dressed to kill. What's really awesome, Flint shows back up and it's been a while since we saw him really. I think it's since Devil's Reign. He meets with this girl right here who's part of a, like an investigation about Moon Knight and is he a cult or not? She's kind of like Amanda Waller. She's like, is Moon Knight above the law? Like, what the hell, Flint? He pretty much ruined your job at the NYPD. While that's happening, Moon Knight's taking out these thugs inside this club. I should say Mr. Knight with the nunchucks. This chick cop or detective or whatever asks Flint about, is Moon Knight part of a cult, a religious cult? He's like, Egyptian, okay? Hmm, pretty suspicious Flint. They got a cult leader. Is he a terrorist? Because at this point he is. Surprise, surprise. He's got a teenage girl named Reese Williams, which now is a vampire, and Soldier, who is a vampire. Then the notorious Hunter's Moon, some kind of moon cultist guru. A celebrity, which is a wannabe Avenger, who's now Tigra. An eight ball, a villain turned to hero. Moon Knight is going through this club's levels trying to find the leader of this club, which is potentially the drug lord. Every book I read about Moon Knight, it's just like the art just pops out and he's beating the shit out of his club members. <laughs> when this detective keeps asking like personal questions because he lost his job during Devil's Reign, if I'm not mistaken, he's like, hey, we're done here. He pays the tab and walks out. She's like, think about this. You think about it, this Fraser. I'm not one of your street snitches. Eventually, Mr. Knight gets to this Fairchild guy who is potentially the drug lord of this new Moon Knight arc. That there is Mr. Moon Knight, and he's a very important person indeed. Achilles Fairchild here. Please sit. If I would have known you were coming here, Moon Knight, I would put you on the guest list. Can I offer you a drink, Moon Knight, or perhaps a party favor? Mr. Knight. <clears throat> no thank you. Well, Mr. Knight, it would appear that you have exotic tastes indeed. Now I'm just a simple country boy here. Moon Knight explains that in my territory, I've been beating up thugs, cleaning it up since I came back, and there has been a new drug that's been hurting people, and I've been trying to get to the bottom of it. By the way, this new drug, it's called Glitter. But Mr. Knight is like, hey, uh, it's leading back to you, Fairchild. Fairchild gets pissed right here, and he's like, what's your poison? Drink? Smoke? Woman? Powders and pills? Violence. Haha, <laughs> you and me, we have that in common. But I kicked that vice. I used to be a boxer, you know? And Moon Knight is like, so was I. After they talk about bullshit about boxing, who's better and who's the devil in the boxer ring, uh, Mr. Knight says, you're a gangster, Pharaoh child, a pusher. You're selling magic drugs that are destroying people. Mr. Knight leaves, giving him a warning. Uh, get out of this business because I'm playing nice, Fairchild, and he leaves. The chick we saw earlier that's a detective that was talking to Flint leaves the diner and goes to a limo, which is Fairchild's limo. So basically, this detective is working for Fairchild, and she's like, yeah, I couldn't get anything out of Flint. Fairchild's like, it's okay. I got to talk to him. I talked to Moon Knight for a little bit. We can do this. So this is going to be interesting. So we got a new drug lord that's going to be fighting Moon Knight and probably the you know Midnight Mission. How do you guys feel about this?